the 3rd of October 1990. It's quite a while since you last saw the monarch on film. Since then there has been a good deal of work done on it, uh, mainly on the wings and all the damage has been repaired. The cockpit has been uh, rebuilt and we're waiting for um, a windscreen. Uh, there is considerable improvement, I'm sure you'll agree, on what it looked like when it came here a few years ago. It is now the 19th of February 1992, a Wednesday of course, and here we see the tricky operation of getting the Monarch out of Building 25 on route Hangar 1. Notice the undercarriage is off. All a carefully calculated uh, operation. Yes, getting on. Almost all out now. This is Wednesday, the 20th of May 1992, and shows our chaps uh, <coughs> fitting a Miles Monarch with an engine. The Miles Monarch in question is GAFJU, construction number 789, and the CFA was issued on the 2nd of September 1938. <laughs> As a point of interest, this particular machine was impressed into RAF service as X9306. The aircraft has a range of 600 miles on standard tanks, but over 900 miles with larger tanks, giving a duration of over seven hours. Quite a thing, isn't it? Over seven hours. <laughs> In all, 11 monarchs were built, and one, which is GASLW, X Battalion Collection, is, is still flying. Big good nick, I think. Flying in Northern Ireland. <laughs> The maximum speed of this aircraft is 140mph, cruising speed 125mph, and the normal aircraft for the De Havilland Gypsy Major engine, De Havilland Gypsy Major. This particular engine is a De Havilland Gypsy Major, okay, but it's a De Havilland Gypsy Major 3. It's quite well. Now we have Ian Hutchison there, bending down. Now who's that? Let's have a look. I think it's Bill Fnett. Yes, it's Bill Fnett. Since this film was taken, the, quite a lot's been added. For example, the oil tank, all cowlings nicely cleaned up. Pella, which was donated to us. And also a very nice spinner. <laughs> 